there life on other planets? Are there aliens living in space? These are some of the questions we want answers to. Over the years, we have received a number of signals or messages from space. This brings us one step further to figuring out our universe. From a mysterious object sent to us from space to strange sounds emanating from planets. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Terrifying signals from space that should have been kept a secret part two. Starting off this countdown, we have the gamma ray burst. In 2012, researchers found evidence that back in the middle ages, a massive blast of gamma radiation hit earth. What they still don't know is what could have caused this. To give you an example of how big this blast was, if it happened nowadays, it would have destroyed every single satellite there is out there. Not only that, if it had happened closer to earth, it would have literally destroyed the entire ozone layer and then life on earth as we know it. So yeah, it was crazy strong. It exerted an incredible amount of energy. Now, what could have caused this? Well, there are a couple of theories. One was that it was a result of two black holes colliding. Two, it was a result from two neutron stars merging. Or three, some sort of massive explosion took place within the Milky Way. Either way, let's hope that it never happens again and it doesn't happen close to Earth, or else we're doomed. Coming in at number nine, we have the solar winds. This is a terrifying sound that was captured by NASA satellites. And then they literally uploaded it to SoundCloud as part of their spooky Halloween playlist. And it's indeed spooky. Just listen to it. Obviously, it's mixed with other solar sounds, but it's still creepy. This is said to be the sound of solar winds passing by the satellites. They combined it all together and made this horrifying soundtrack. I rather they not. But I will say though, put headphones on and close your eyes and listen to it. The raindrop sounds are quite soothing to the ears. As weird and as creepy as they sound. Moving on to number eight, we have the Cassini spacecraft. The Cassini spacecraft was the fourth space probe to visit Saturn and the first to enter its orbit. And when it did, it picked up some weird signals. The signals were then converted into an audio file and shared online for us all to hear. Dude, I don't know what's going on with Saturn, but even scientists agreed that the sounds they recorded from Saturn are horrifying. Coming in at number seven, we have the sun. The next signal was recorded from none other than our light and heat source, the sun. The Stanford Experimental Physics Lab took data from the European Space Agency and NASA and turned it into this sound. This is the sound of the sun. Waves are constantly traveling and bouncing around inside the sun and this is the sound of it. Now this isn't so bad compared to the other sounds from space that we heard today, but there's a crazy theory that this is some sort of message. Like if we were to sonify a bunch of other sounds from the solar system and manipulate the sounds, maybe we'll be able to decipher this message from like the sun gods or I don't even know. Moving on to number six, we have the FRBS. So we're going to be looking at FRBS or fast radio bursts. Scientists are constantly tracking these strange blasts, trying to figure out where they're coming from and what's causing it. Well, in April of 2020, one astronomer found an FRB coming from within our own galaxy for the first time. They examined it and found that it was coming from a magnetar called SGR 19352154. It's a mouthful. This in fact was the first evidence that magnetars can produce radio waves powerful enough to be detected. The proximity of the burst made it appear really bright. In fact, one of the researchers said, and I quote, it is much brighter than any other radio object in space by a large margin. 
In fact, this burst had energy about three times more than the energy that is emitted from the sun every second. It's kind of intense and crazy how powerful that signal was. And we still haven't fully figured out what it means. So, aliens. <laughs> we are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the roar of Jupiter. In June of 2016, NASA's Juno spacecraft crossed the boundary of Jupiter's magnetic field. What they captured sounds horrifying. They call it the bow shock. Bow shock is when the supersonic solar wind is heated and slowed by Jupiter's magnetosphere. It can be compared to a sonic boom on Earth. Let's listen to it. They named that the roar of Jupiter. Now that's not even the creepy sound. The next day they captured something even worse. That is the sound of the crossing of the magnetopause, which is the boundary between the sun's magnetic field and Jupiter's magnetic field. And at number four today, we have the blinking stars. Now let's change it up a bit. This next signal is not one that you can listen to, but it's a one that you can see. Back in 2016, a group of Canadian astronomers saw 234 stars blinking at the same time. Now this is very odd. How is it that such a large amount of stars are blinking all together at the exact same time? One of the astronomers, Eric Trotter, is convinced that the blinking stars are a signal from aliens. He thinks that they are using some type of laser to communicate with us. They are flashing these lasers all at the same time to get our attention. So does that mean that they have 234 lasers or just, I don't even know. But either way, this is really odd and we still don't know what caused it or what it means. Moving on to number three, we have the quasi crystal. This is something that crashed down onto Earth in 1979, Spiria. When it was first dug up, people were like, okay, it's just a hunk of rock. But no, 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 no. Little did they know that it was something way more advanced. The quasi crystal had 60 points of rotational symmetry that seemed to be perfectly made by technology that is unknown to humans. This isn't something that could naturally form in nature as far as we know. It looks as if this was created by some sort of alien race and then launched launched out into space to educate another species on the ways of advanced technology. So far we have discovered no way to replicate this type of structure whatsoever. Also this crystal dates back to 4.5 billion years ago, so it's really freaking strange. Is it true? Could it have been sent from another species? Coming in at number 2 we have the screams from Ganymede. Over the years, astronomers have recorded a number of freaky sounds from Jupiter's moon Ganymede. The sound I'm about to share with you is what was recorded when a spacecraft flew by Jupiter's moon. sounds like aliens talking to each other and then using some weird electronic device to send out beeping signals like maybe it's a message, but that's not the worst part. They captured what sounds like someone screaming. That's horrifying. It sounds like someone yelling out in pain. Another time astronomers were shocked by the sounds from Ganymede were when they converted the chorus waves around the planet and moons into sound. Again, it sounds very frightening and bizarre, as if someone is trying to tell us something. And in our number one spot today we have Proxima Centauri. A number of scientists are dedicated to finding and investigating alien life. In fact, they believe that a signal from a nearby star was sent by aliens. Basically, they received a narrow beam of radio waves coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star 4.2 light years away from Earth. It's the nearest star to the Sun. They claim that this signal is the first serious candidate since the WOW signal. If you don't know what the WOW signal is, I talked about it in part one, so check it out. Anyways, let's listen to what they recorded. Scientists 
scientists have yet to discover what was causing the signal. Now, that high pitched buzzing sound continues on for a long time, then all of a sudden it changes very abruptly. Like what the actual hell was that? I don't know and I never want to hear it again. What makes things creepier is that at least two planets orbit this star. Those planets are believed to be habitable for certain life forms. So maybe something is out there living on those planets and sending us signals. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these points you found the creepiest. And now speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 terrifying signals from space that should have been kept secret. It's the part one. Go check it out. Deep Voice Banton commented, Today you look like Rogue from X-Men, so I'm here wishing I could hit the like button more. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you can hit that bell notification button so that you can, you know, be notified every time we post. You should do that. Do that. But also, it's Deep Voice, so it'd be like, Today you look like Rogue from X-Men. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Casual Crab Warfare commented, I don't like you, Lindsay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Casual crab warfare. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, sorry. I find that so funny. Like, they actually had the audacity to be like, you know what? I don't like you, Lindsay. At least they spelled my name right, so thank you. Reese Vlog commented, I'm gonna leave this comment for the future comment shout out portion. And well, guess what? Good thing that you commented something because here's your shout out. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see ya when I see ya. To educate another species on the ways of an advanced. Ah. Uh. Okay. It looks as if this was. Another time astronomers were shocked by the sounds from Ganymede were when they were mm -hmm. um